Hey, 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 it's Kelsey Ray coming at you live from Charleston. As y'all are hopping on, say hi in the comments and definitely tap that share button, comment the word shared, put your name into my giveaway um, that I do on a weekly basis. But also, I think that what I'm about to say can probably like at least motivate, bare minimum, motivate people to do things that are really hard. So I was going to go live while we were doing the cold plunge, um, the ice bath, but all of my kids are out here. And if you don't know, I have stopped posting my kids to social media. And so I don't show them anymore. And I didn't want to go live with all of them out here. So anyways, I'm going live now. They're all inside eating lunch, but Eric and I got, uh, this, I linked it in my Amazon storefront, by the way, this pool, I think it's like 90 bucks. It's like a little, um, ice bath. It's a blow. It's not blow up. It's like, it literally you just put those things in the side and then you put air in the like little ring at the top to keep it up there. But anyways, we have been researching cold plunges, ice baths. And if you've ever seen it, give me a yes in the comments below. You've seen these TikToks of these people doing it. Even I've seen people do it with their kids. And I'm like, oh my God, I really want to try it. And a lot of people are like instantly like, no. Okay. So if you're like the person, a person who's like, I can do anything I put my mind to drop a yes. If you're like, ah, uh, cold is not my thing. I'm not willing to put myself through pain for no reason. Drop a no in the comments below. Cause I totally understand that. Like your natural instincts. However, we just did cold plunges. Um, and we did it the other day for the first time. And then we did it again for the second time today, but our kids did it with us today. Um, so we have two six year olds and a nine year old, and then we have a two year old, but the two year old, Obviously, we would never put her in a cold in, a, in an ice bath. But, anyways, I want to share my experience with this because I feel like a lot of people. If you've been following me since my pregnancy with Callie, drop me in the comments um, because I really feel like people ask me all the time, Kelsey, how did you have your baby at home? I had her in my bathtub, literally. Okay, um, very, very completely unmedicated. My first was unmedicated as well. And people ask me all the time, like, how do you do this? How do you get through the pain of having a baby all natural and same concept with doing a cold plunge? Literally, if you can't control your mind, you're going to have a really hard time getting through hard things. If you've ever been through something traumatic or something hard in your life, how did you feel after you got past that? Like you probably felt like you have achieved something like let's just use something very generic. Maybe you've been through a very traumatic relationship with somebody who caused you trauma okay and going through the breakup of that or going through the trauma of the actual relationship it probably felt like it was going to kill you give me a yes in the comments if you're relating to this okay it probably felt like it was going to kill you um and then after you got through it you felt very accomplished you learned a lot of things and then you were more resilient it's the same concept with doing cold plunges and ice baths so by the way you guys don't forget tap the share button down here below comment the word shared and um i'll put your name into my weekly giveaway when you guys do that so thank you so much and i just believe what i'm saying right now in this live is going to offer a lot of value to people because i think that it's really important one of the main reasons that i'm doing cold plunges is for um managing my pain so you can increase Increase your blood flow, which is going to increase your metabolism. Um, it's going to boost your energy, give you um, really good sleep, depending on when you do it, how cold it is. Um, what are some other benefits? I made a post on over on Instagram and I'll make the same post over here on Facebook so you guys can see. Hi, Sierra. Hi, Harley. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Monica. Hi, Caitlin. Um, but there's so many really amazing benefits, but a couple of reasons of why I'm doing it is to manage pain. Cause I have so something wrong with my back. I have two discs in my back that are de de generative. I think I said that right. And, uh, so I want to manage my pain. Also, um, one of the benefits is weight loss because of the metabolism effect that it has on your body. And then I also am doing it for uh, mental resilience. And so like I was just talking about doing something hard and I ask people this all the time and I know that I don't always go live with things like this, but I feel like I have a lot of knowledge to share because I've been through a lot of really hard things. And I just, for some reason, I don't know that like why God gave me this ability, but I have this ability to do really hard things and come through it with a really good outlook. And so when you're doing really hard things, you're pretty much telling your brain that other things that you go through, like not volunt involuntarily through your life, are not actually hard. Hi, Skylar. Hi, Travis. Hi, Brandy. What's up, you guys? Say hello in the comments. Tap that share button. Comment the word shared. And let me know in the comments. Have you done an ice bath or a cold plunge? Drop a yes or a no in the comments. So anyways, we did it. And I want to talk about doing it with my kids. Um, both six-year-olds and our nine-year-old did it with us, okay? Now, some of you guys are going to be like, oh my God, that's so dangerous. Because immediate, my first immediate reaction, because Gabe was like looking at it. Gabe is my six-year-old. Um, he's like, I want to do it, mommy. I want to do it. And Eric's like, all right, cool. I'm going to throw you in there. I'm like, no. I am like, I was like, no, he might go into shock. And my instant reaction when it came to my kid doing it was like scared. I was terrified. I was like, no, I don't want him to do it. Um, 
And let me know. And I, by the way, I don't know if you guys know this, but the, the water temperature is between 40 to 50 degrees. Okay. And 32 degrees is considered freezing. Like it's frozen. So just to give you an idea of how cold it actually is. And so I want to walk through like what I, what I, the revelations that I had as my kids were doing it. Like it was just so astonishing to like watch them like go through that. And the first time they did it, it was like very mind blowing at how they handled it. Um, so inspiration. Oh, Sierra, thank you so much. Hi, Amber. Hi, Natasha. Hi, Kayla. Never done an ice bath. You definitely should try. So anyways, um, at first I was really scared. I was like, no, I don't want him to do it. What if he like goes into shock? What if something bad? Like my brain automatically went to the bad. And I think that that is so typical for just a human being in general for your brain to go to the bad. And by the way, you guys say hi in the comments. And then share this out and type in the comments where it's shared. If you're not following me, you definitely should be because I go, try to go live every single day with some kind of valuable information, some, some, some kind of value, some kind of insight, some kind of like knowledge to kind of just help to make your life better. Like no matter what that is, whether it's eating right or supplements that you could take to increase your energy or if it's business advice or whatever, like recipes and stuff like that. So make sure you're following me because I, like I said, I try to go live every single day with some kind of value for you guys. Social media is my full-time income. You want to know how to do income from your phone? Drop a dollar sign in the comments. So anyways, um, I think most human beings are instantly like, no, I don't want to do it. Like it's like all these bad things go through your mind when you're facing an obstacle of something that seems really hard to do. All right. So I was like, you know what? I researched a little bit online. I was like, can a six-year-old do an ice bath? What are the benefits? What are the pros and cons? And so I came to the conclusion like, okay, well, it might not actually be that bad. Like I've actually seen TikToks. Are y'all on TikTok, by the way? Do y'all Have y'all ever seen these TikToks of these parents doing these cold plunges with their kids? And I don't know why I forgot about that. But anyways, um, I was like, okay, so we're going to let them do it. And they all put their bathing suits on and it was kind of nerve wracking because for me, I'm going to tell you my experience with it. Here's what, ha here's what's happening when you yourself get into an ice bath or do a cold plunge in general. Okay. Um, so you immediately get in and it's almost like you have to like, you have to slow your breathing down because you're almost hypoventilating. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Skylar. Hi, Christina. Hi, Melly. What's up you guys say hello. Um, so you almost have to like, really, you have to take your mind and focus it on slowing down your breathing. And so, uh, for me, it's like you, I, I, I the first time I did it, I felt like I was hyperventilating. I was like, <sighs> like literally like that's what my breath was doing. <sighs> it was like, <sighs> like, I, and I don't know how to explain like what's going on in your body when that happens, but that's why I was scared for my kids to do it. Okay. So anyways, um, when we put, I think the first one that did it was Gabe, my six year old. And when he did it, um, I, held his hand and here's the thing you don't ever need you don't ever force kids to do it you offer it if they want to do it they can do it if not then that's cool um but i held his hand and i said um and when he got in i was like okay listen to me i explained what was going to happen so he was aware of what was going to go on in his body um and so he could control his mind and like i really believe that things like this are so beneficial i don't know if y'all have ever like seen kids in russia but they actually will go out there and play in um and, and like snow and stuff as an activity in their bathing suits play in snow because one thing about bacteria is it cannot live in an environment that's cold and so it's really freaking important that's why hospitals are freezing all the time did you ever think about that and so like that is just such a valuable information right there for many people to know so if you have the ability and you see the share button down below tap the share button and then comment the word share it. I'll put your name into a giveaway. But honestly, like I think people need to understand that there is nothing wrong or bad about ice or cold. It's very beneficial for a lot of things that go on inside your body. But mostly I feel like it's good for kids to do. I mean, probably above the age of five because bacteria cannot live inside of a cold environment. That's why hospitals are cold. So anyways, I held his hand and when he went in immediately, you want to freak out. He wanted to freak out. He wanted, like he was like shaking it and, and it was a little, a little scary, but I was like, it's okay. I held his hands. I said, breathe, take a deep breath and through your nose, out through your mouth. And I just walked him through mentally. Now he didn't stay in a very long time. He was in there probably for like 20 seconds. Okay. But better than not at all. And I feel like we're, uh, I'm going to do this once a week with him and let him do like 30 seconds once a week. Um, because I really believe that this is going to be something that's going to teach him mental toughness and increase his immunity. Like honestly. Okay. Hey, just doing what we're we talking about. We're talking about doing cold plunges and ice bath because Eric and I bought this ice bath from Amazon. It's linked in my Amazon store, by the way. So if y'all want to do it, we spent eight bucks on getting the enough, enough ice to put in this to make it the temperature that it needs. It's got to be at least 50 to 60 degrees. Okay. 
Um, but anyways, I just feel like it's really beneficial uh, for you guys to understand like cold and then like just utilizing that to your advantage. So even like ladies, if you have issues with your skin, you could take a bowl of ice and put your face in it. It could do so much. Do it once a day, every single morning. It could do so much for your face. I'm actually going to start doing that because I have, I've done it like once or twice before with my face, but I've never done it consistently. But now that I'm learning more about the cold and the ice and stuff like that, and I don't know everything. I'm not an expert by any means. I'm just sharing with you guys what I've learned um, by researching this myself okay so don't think that I'm like some expert and if you have medical problems or whatever you obviously want to talk to your doctor you don't want to be doing this stuff when you, if you have a bad heart or whatever so uh, we did it we did it with our kids and um, Emberly and Noah the two six-year-olds actually stayed in for I think a total of 30 seconds which is really freaking good hi Katie hi Donna hi Ashley hi Kimberlyn and then Noah, he's nine. He's like not with it. Okay. He was like, uh -uh. so he probably did like 10 seconds, but anyways, they're all different. And, um, it's just such a, it's boosting so many different parts of your body, like your energy, your metabolism. And so I don't know, this is just like your sign to go. Amanda said, I take cold showers. Okay. So same concept. Those are really good to do on a daily basis. Like take a cold shower. And I think the most impressive part of it is like, you're training your brain to go through hard shit. Like, just think about that. Like, I think that there's so many people in this world who are terrified to do things that are hard. And that's why we have people who are stagnant in their life. Like they don't want to go work out or they don't want to start a new business or they don't want to go um, to a new uh, gym or they don't want to go to a gym at all or whatever like they don't want to do these things that are really hard because it's freaking hard but the more you do hard things the more you are training your brain to be able to get through those hard things so if you find that valuable and somebody else needs to hear that message share this out type in the comments the word shared and I'll put your name into my weekly giveaway and then go to the link in the bio and join the telegram where it says update so you see if you win or not I do it with my boys 9 and 11 they love it it helps them in so many ways Ariel I love that so freaking much hi Jen believe it or not this has helped with my anxiety Kimberlyn yes see like y'all are my people okay y'all are my people if you are willing to do hard things give me a flame emoji in the comments if that's the type of like mentality that you have I genuinely want to be friends with you because I want to surround my people, my people, my, I want to surround myself with people who have that mentality of like, you know what, this shit's hard, but I'm going to do it and I'm going to challenge myself. And so it's funny because Eric and I used to be alcoholics. I don't know if y'all know that you could drop OG in the comments. If you've been around for a while, hi, Nathan, hi, Alexander, hi, Ashley. Um, but Eric and I used to be alcoholics and, uh, the first day we did it the other day and he was like, I'm going to see it. Cause it was like 55 degrees. I think that we put it on and he's like, next time I do it, I'm going to see if I can get it down to 44 degrees. And so today he did 44 degrees. And he's like, I think I'm going to do 40 degrees. I'm like, bro, you're crazy, but okay, whatever. And I'm like, that's the added behavior kicking down. I'm like, now I'm like, how long can I stay in? How, like, how far can I really push myself? Because I'm literally just growing my mind and my mindset. Tristan is an OG. I love to see it. I love to see it. Hi, Mariah. Hi, Joel. What's up, you guys? Ashley's an OG. Okay, let's go, baby. Jordan's an OG. So, um, anyways, we did cold plunges. I have videos. I just need to edit them so they're not like, I obviously just like, hi, Jim. What's up, girl? Um, I need to edit them, but I'm going to post it on TikTok and I'll post it as a reel on Facebook and Instagram too, um, of us doing the cold plunge. Probably not the one of us doing it today because my kids were in it and I don't want to put my kids on social media. Um, but yeah, I start with anxiety and press stuff. It helps with anxiety. I'm going to try it. Katie, I honestly believe like I'm not a medical professional. I ain't giving you no medical advice, but I'm just saying, I feel like it can help with a lot of the different things. So give it a try like that. Like you're training your brain, like I said, to do hard things. So, um, the first literal 30 seconds of it, you're going, your brain's going to tell you, no, get out, get out, get out, get out, because it's alarming because you're doing something you've never done or you're doing something that is shocking. Um, it it kind of shocks your body, but not in a bad way to where you're like going into cardiac arrest. But the first 30 seconds, you're going to be like, <sighs> like, it's going to be hard to catch your breath. But that's part of like the resilience part. That's part of like creating the resilience is like you're going to get to the point where like controlling your mind and when, and when I was talking about earlier like people were like how do you have your kids all natural because if you learn how to control your mind and your body through your mind like one of the things that I did when I was having my kids all natural 
and Callie Ray was born in a bathtub in my home, um, is like I made sure to focus on relaxing every muscle in my body that I could focus on. So I did not tense up my hands like this. I relaxed my hands. I relaxed my face. I unclenched my jaw. I dropped my shoulders. And so that's kind of like just a part of just being hyper aware of like your body and your mind and what it's thinking and what it's going through and how it feels and being able to control that. You're going to like be, you're, you're the minority of the people that can actually do really hard things and that's so amazing. So congratulations to you. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Caitlin. I started with cold showers and then I went to ice baths. I love that, Kimberlyn. Um, so we're probably going to do this every weekend for, I don't know. Eric said he's going to do some research. I don't know how long you can do it for, but I'm thinking like maybe... Uh, we, we did five minutes today, so Eric's like, I want to try 10 minutes, but I got to see if that's like going to be okay to do. It's all controlling your brain. If you're hurt, it's your brain saying you're in pain. Exactly. Yes. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Tony. So anyways, you guys, don't forget, share it out. Type the comments. Type in the comments the word shared once you do for the weekly giveaway. I'll put your name in. But also, you're helping me reach more people, and I firmly believe that this is a really good message that a lot of people need to hear because we got a lot of weak ass motherfuckers in this world and it's time to get strong babies, especially with what's coming up. Um, apparently well, what, with what's coming up, um, we need to make sure that we're taking control of our mental health and we're taking control of our immune system. That is the most important part. Rebecca, thanks for sharing. Katie, thanks for sharing. I appreciate you guys so much. So I'm going to hop off of here. I'm going to go. Um, what temp are y'all doing it at? Julia, we did it at, so the first time was 55 degrees. This time Mine was 50 degrees. Then we put another bag of ice in for Eric, and his was around 44 degrees. Um, he said he wants to try and get it down to 40 degrees, but I'm like, okay, whatever. You do what you do, okay? Taylor, thanks for sharing. I appreciate you, girl. So, anyways, um, I'm excited. I have goosebumps right now thinking about it. We're going to do it every single weekend. I believe it's going to really increase. Um, it's going to help with a lot of things, pain and sleep and just mental and everything. So, um, I just want to go live talking about that because I feel like it was a really great experiment and a lot of people need to hear about doing cold plunges. So appreciate you guys. Love y'all and I'll see you live tomorrow. Bye.